hello and thank you so very much for joining me tonight I go by Luna Needs and I wanted to create a session for the collective today and when I say collective I just mean whomever stumbles upon this and resonates with it and you know it can hopefully be of some kind of service or support to but um I don't want to say inspired by, but in the wake of the recent events, tragedy, tragedies, chaos, and I know every day we can find that or witness that, but I wanted to create something because the recent events in Texas definitely hit very close to home for me, and I just wanted to put something out there that was supportive to validate what we're, we might be feeling in the closer proximity to for the individuals who are in closer proximity and also the collective because we all feel this in waves or in some way and maybe if it's not this that I'm speaking of and you're stumbling across this later or maybe there's something from another time that really sticks with you or you're just going through something in your life, you know, like tragedy isn't always something we see online. It can be personal things that we're dealing with. So I just wanted to create something that hopefully is gentle and supportive when we're going through and experiencing some really heavy, dark stuff, you know. So whether it's internal, whether it's more of what we're reacting to or affected by from the external we're all connected and we all feel each other's pains and stuff in some way i believe so we're gonna work today on just validating creating a little flow hopefully a little comfort and we're not trying to deny anything in this session we're not trying to um you know have some kind of quick fix we're just trying to add to the good, you know, that's the best way I could probably put it. Alright, so we're going to be working with two candles, because I like to work with two, and I'm kind of really focused on an, an in and an out, a release, release, and then like a freshness coming in, that flow. So, I actually really want to use a lighter today. I need to get like a fancy lighter case or something. focus on release that breath out so on behalf of the highest and greatest good and perfect comfort perfect alignment looking to support the breath out not holding on to it validating what you're experiencing if you are hating yourself if you're depressed just let yourself say it like let yourself say how you're feeling if you're feeling very hopeless, if you're feeling completely disgusted, if you're feeling anything that you're feeling, anger, rage, helplessness, whatever it might be, just acknowledge it and validate it as we focus on this candle so that we can get it moving, let it go out into the world, the universe, to possibly for ourselves support some kind of taking action or supporting others in some way or just again validating that this is these are real feelings and these are intense and we are not denying them on ourselves or through ourselves so just have a little look at this light this candle and say all the stuff you want to say get it off your chest let the energy move and say, how have you been feeling? What are some repetitive thoughts you've had? Let them out. 
get them out of your head, let them flow through you. What are some struggles you're dealing with? Have you been unable to sleep? Has your immune system been wonky? I don't want to say compromised. Do you have migraines? Whatever it is, just validate whatever you're going through. just going to bring in flow. We're not trying to manifest. We're not trying to force some kind of, you know, euphoric experience. We just want to let in the good. Let in some flow. Let in some freshness. Let in some ideas. Just a movement. Just letting things process. We, we can set an intention to receive just just flow just supporting flow the support in our personal processing and hopefully a good night's sleep or a great journaling session or a nice walk or something that helps us combo with a friend or with a stranger but some fresh nice Sorry for my basic language, but good energy just coming in to neutralize, to comfort, okay? May you receive exactly what is right for you, exactly what will serve, exactly what is in alignment with your higher self, whatever you need right now. Just may you receive whatever what's Okay, so this is one of my heavy hitters. Um, it's very, very gentle, but this is one of the most, um, how can I put this? One of my favorite stones or, um, conglomerate <laughs> that I own because every time I hold it just like this <laughs> or like this but it fits so perfectly and it does have a heart shape not intentionally just just the way it came out <laughs> and I feel like when I hold this it's so supportive of that flow I was speaking of it just kind of puts me at a um, an appreciative state, a neutral state, a um, surrender in a sense so that those tides can come in and out and things can process so we're gonna envision, if you'd like to envision your hands as mine we're gonna work by proxy and just feel yourself holding the stone of a pop of light and amethyst and um, some other stuff, calcite. Okay, just feel it in your hands like you're holding water, you know, or trying to wash your face or something in that sort of hand position. And just focus on receiving, let's say, flowing through and up your left arm, through the wrist, the forearm, the elbow, the bicep, the shoulder, into the heart space, flowing out through your dominant shoulder, your right shoulder, we'll say, down through the bicep, elbow, forearm, wrist, and out your palm. And again, just keep it going. Just keep that flow. Feel yourself in that space. Just your energy balancing, the energy moving, catching your breath, 
letting a little of the body tension go, the stress that we're holding, or the emotions you're holding in your body, release or begin at least to release, to move. Letting the feelings inspire action or some method of supporting or adding more good out onto the collective. Like a radiator charging your own battery here, really enhancing your heart field, receiving up and through your palm, your left arm, all the way into your heart, and out to the other side, releasing from your dominant palm. Receive and receive and release and breathe and just let it flow. I'm going to use a little western red cedar. right now we're not overthinking it we're just tuning in to receive exactly what is right or beneficial benevolent supportive whether that is resources whether that is inspiration whether that is a connection an opportunity a recharging, a reconnection with yourself, some kind of activation, some kind of empowerment or healing. Just moving through you tenderly, lovingly, caringly, respectfully, all around you. And I'm just going to tap on your aura and just send these sort of into the work field just to support, just to gently influence in a way that supports validation, being seen, being heard, being witnessed a way that intends to support equilibrium and of course your own empowerment around the aura of the face. We have so much, like, emotion in our face, right? A frown, a smile, tears, tension. So I just really want to address and support and hope that when you look in your own eyes, you know, or you're reminded, rather, that you can cultivate peace, you can cultivate change, you can make a difference, but most importantly, you can connect with yourself because it starts with you.
to say things or to feel things, of course, but a, um, an ingrained level of pessimism, you know, like something that is at our core, like influencing us, you know, I'd love to support the opportunity to pluck, release, kind of trim that a little bit back just to make sure it doesn't root in and it's okay to have, again, like I'm not saying to not be pessimistic or not have thoughts like that, but you know, from my perspective, humbly, I just don't see how that's helpful in a long term and longevity and that pessimism that we might be experiencing influencing then other areas of our lives as well and stuff, or all areas, so we're gonna do a gentle plucking, but I first want to use this Douglas Cedar. And in case you're wondering where I get these, I'll put the link below. And we're just gonna call in the guardians. We're working here in the corners. So what is this? South West, the southwest area, the northeast, the southeast. when some really bad things happen, some evil things, it's really easy to have very valid thoughts like what the frick is going on here and this place is evil, like earth is evil, or what's up with God, like what is this God if 
this kind of horrible things happen, but it doesn't really, you know, that's a whole other topic, but I don't think it's necessarily beneficial to feel that way, as valid as it is. I don't think it's beneficial, so I'm just supporting the clearing of that. Just want to work through the Just feeling really called to work through the joint areas and the meridians of the legs. I'm just gonna start in the hips. ankles mm -hmm. 
and the soles of the feet. feels best or needed, right? So, focus on the left sole of your foot, ankle, through the shin and calf, into the knee, uh, through the thigh, into the hip, And across through the roots and sacral areas, doing figure eight here. And I'm moving over to the right hip. Just letting that all clear and release down through the thigh, the knee, through the shin ankle and sole of the right foot Whew. okay I'm just gonna mark down with the salt just to clear through this channel but I think it'll feel a lot more comfortable to connect with salt and water, whether you're lucky enough to be near the ocean, or a salt bath, or even a salt spray, or a foot soak with some Epsom salt. I'm just going to go down the back as well, down through, over the top of the head, down through the back of the skull, through the neck, and just down the spine. Expressing our love to those that mean that to us, our thanks, and doing all we can to 
make this world better, more respectful, more caring, more accepting, please. Use our Douglas fir again now directly west and east and south. on a level of, of like, I don't want to say transparency, but a quality of just really letting out whatever needs to be let out and really allowing ourselves to receive what is benevolent for us and a boundary with that discernment in that as well, not just super open, but knowing, tuning into, calling in the intelligence of you of your higher mind to just be on guard a little bit not in a like on edge way but just 
just a constant, constantly activated boundary here, especially while you're processing and while we're all processing some heavy stuff, okay? Alright, well, I want to thank you so very much for letting me share a little piece of your path tonight. And thank you so very much for being such a significant part of mine. From the very bottom of my heart, I bow to the divine in you and I and to this interesting, beautiful connection that we share. So very much love to you, my friend, of course, and namaste. Namaste.